And so, the last time I talked about Linny was in the video that I made about whether you should pull for Linny on year Lan. And all the information that we had on his ability and his kit was only based on whatever footage that was available in the 4.0 special program. With that, I am here to bring you the update because recently, the Genshin Impact official just posted a new post and the character teaser for Linny. Also, this post is over on Hoyo Lab, so if you guys want to go check it out, the link will be down in the description below. So let's go overall on how they want to define his playstyle. Linny is a power damage dealer, obviously. Okay, so when his level 2 charge shot hits, it spawns a cat. And the cat basically acts as a taunt, and when it's destroyed, it will basically attack an opponent with a pyrotechnic strike. Upon watching some other people's videos and my own footage, apparently when the taunt actually dies, pyrotechnic strike seems to be this homing kind of thing that comes out of the cat when it goes off, so that's cool. And then if Linus' HP is relatively high, the charge level to attack will consume some of his HP in order to gain a prop surplus stack. So let's just call this a prop stack for now. So this is consistent with the footage that we saw where every time he does a level 2 charge attack, he actually loses his HP. And I think this is to make his kit or his abilities work in tandem with the Mare Hose Haunter, which basically buffs crit rate every time your current HP changes. So let's see, well, how about his elemental skill? When Lini uses his elemental skill, all his prop stacks will be consumed to increase the AoE pyro damage, which increases the amount of damage dealt and also regenerates Lini's HP based on how many stacks is consumed. And if the cat is on field when he uses his skill, it will also manually explode and deal more pyro damage. Okay, so that's interesting. So that means, right, in tandem with the Mare Hose Haunter, you can probably cast like maybe what two to three charge attacks and quickly build his skill and then after that once you build up maybe like uh, a few stacks i don't know what the maximum is you can probably do maximum damage on your skill and actually heal and that healing will change your current hp which means you can maintain the stacks on the mario Hose onto for peace effect which is basically crit rate every time your hp changes so i guess that's pretty interesting and then his elemental burst is pretty straightforward he turns to a cat does pyro damage when it ends it summons a cat and it gives him one stack okay so his ascension materials are pretty new, and a talent level up will be from the Dendro Dragon, a pep. His normal attacks will be shown. So normal attacks, no one's going to use it, nobody's going to care. So level 1 and level 2, uh, let's see the details. So it only consumes HP when he does a level 2 charge attack if he has more than 60% HP, and that in exchange will trade his HP to gain 1 stack, which stacks up to 5 times. This effect will be removed after the character is out of combat for 30 seconds. Yeah, I guess that's pretty normal. The lowest leaning can drop is 60%. Okay, that's good. That means you, you're you not going to go super low like Mr. Shao on his elemental burst over there. So his cat, what does the cat actually do? Each opponent can be taunted by the hat once every 5 seconds. So there is kind of a cooldown to a certain extent. The hat inherits uh, Ma Linny's max HP, yeah that's pretty normal. And if it's destroyed or expires, it basically does more damage. Uh, yeah, my cats are fighting in the back. <laughs> Don't mind that. So let's see, what about his elemental skill? It will clear all the stacks. It seems like the AoE is directly in front of it. In front of him? I don't know if it increases the AoE. AoE. I think it only increases the damage and the healing. Yeah, you can see the numbers right there. So how much is that heal? 2.6k. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. So that's pretty straightforward. It also does destroy the cat. Elemental particle wise, we seem to be seeing about 3 to 4-ish. And then the burst is pretty straightforward. Turns to a cat. After the cat ends, you gain a stack and you get the thing. And then there's the explanation on the Arc Numa mechanic. So he is of the Numa alignment, while I believe Linny will be of the Uja alignment. So technically having like, since we're all going to get Lynette for free, I assume Hydro Traveler probably will have the other alignment because if they introduce this mechanic and they only give you like one of it, that's kind of whatever, right? So I guess having Linny for Fontaine combat would be interesting and maybe... They did show us that some of the puzzles require you to have characters with this arc mechanic, so I think Fontaine characters are going to be necessary for exploration and maybe certain parts of the combat. So in terms of everything else, you guys can probably read it, like links is down in the description. So it seems like his gameplay is obviously pretty straightforward, he just seems to be more of like um, a more altered version of Tinari, like there are steps to actually buff his damage, and uh, there's a HP drain and a healing mechanic to work in tandem with the Mare Hose Haunter, so you can easily stack up crit rate, which allows you to farm and prioritize crit damage substats and crit damage circlets for your Linny. Other than that, I think, yeah, this is basically what we've kind of gone over. I don't really think there's much to talk about. If I were to just speculate, like, let, like, let me just do a little bit of, um, let me, let, just let me cook for a bit. Based on how the burst works, very likely, I think what you want to do is maybe you want to do a single charge attack. You spawn the cat, right? You spawn the cat on field. 
use your burst to detonate the current cat and then you do you do the thing and then you just quickly swap out and you basically get another cat maybe they'll give you like more energy i'm not really sure if the explosion by the cat will give linear a bit of energy i assume it kind of will to a certain extent and if you use your burst early you can basically build up your like a uh, prop stack right so that means once you swap back to him, you can probably just do a few charge attacks here and there. I think if you do like two, two charge attacks into a skill, maybe you can stack up his Amare Hase Haunter buffs to get that maximum 36% crit rate very fast. So I think that's probably how it is. In terms of elemental skill, I assume it's probably going to go on like a decent cooldown. Like let's say maybe since it is vital to his kit in order to gain healing and that's important for the artifact set, I think let's say an 8 to 10 second cooldown, very likely. This is probably going to be spending his time on field for quite a while. So very likely he's uh, kind of like a hyper on field DPS. So it's very a uh, selfish playstyle. But I think I think it's alright. I think everything we've kind of speculated based on the artifact set and based on the footage that is available is basically correct. I would be interested to see how the taunt works because um, it is interesting. Because it, it reminds me of like, like, like... I was watching a video by Zajef. Obviously he goes through leak stuff but I don't talk about leak stuff on this channel. And like... The thumbnail for that video was basically 5 star Amber, right? And then I thought about it, yeah, I just remembered Amber is kind of like a charge attack taunt player. And Ganyu, when she was released in 1.2, was basically the better version of Amber. So I guess Linny is supposedly the better version for Amber to that certain extent. And I think it will be interesting to try. I, after thinking about it and contemplating for a little bit, I think I'll try to pull, like maybe I'll dedicate like... 80 pulls on the banner just to see if I can get Lini or not. If I don't, that means I'm going to save my 50-50 for any upcoming characters in the future patches. So this is probably just a short overall stuff and um, this confirms everything and uh, hopefully if you guys are interested in getting Lenny, I think it would be really good since Fontaine is quite new and I think he'll be helpful for a lot of the puzzles and combat. And especially, I forgot to mention this in my other video, but he does have an exploration passive where it reveals like the regional specialties within any within the area on the minimap. So like, if you want to farm for Lynette or Fremine or Linny or whatever upcoming characters, right? He's gonna be Linny's gonna be so helpful because you're gonna be exploring around Fontaine and you'll be finding these flowers that will be useful for leveling all these Fontaine characters. Obviously, there is the interactive map, but let's be real. Unless you have like two screens or something, like two monitors, I, I can't be bothered to just like tab out and look into, inter into the interactive map if I only had like one screen or I'm playing on a mobile device. So I think I think that would be a certain amount of selling point. Anyways, I think that's it for now. In the next video, I think I'll cover the new reveal that we have for the Fontaine stuff. We do have um, a few new gadgets and a few mechanics that they elaborated on for the underwater exploration and stuff. So yeah, look forward to that video when that's out. Hopefully I can get that done before next week because we are getting very close to Fontaine. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully if you guys are interested in any, I wish you the best in your polls. I will be uploading my own summons and we'll see how that goes. I'm going to try to not spoil it whenever I do edit it. So yeah, that's it. All right, y'all have a good one. Peace out.